Mike the disgruntled mechanic project today is my 1989 Harley soft tail the FXST I went to get it out of basically storage I had it running I had a problem with it popping and backfiring the other year but I didn't pay too much attention to it so when I went to start it I'm going to show you exactly what happened and what I found The front pipe here, it sort of cracked and came out of the crossover on the back pipe. So it was time to replace the exhaust. Believe me, uh, 30 years old, 90,000 miles, I don't think it really owes me anything. But I'll show you the process of taking these off. It really wasn't that hard and then I'll show you the new ones that I got and exactly what they are. So for my particular bike the way you had to do it and the way it was mounted is you had to take this bolt off back here which basically held this pipe on back here okay and that was all that really held that one and then of course your front pipe which goes up in here that had that went on to this bolt down here now to mount the new ones this here whole mount comes off and all this was for basically was your exhaust mount on this so this comes off that goes away so that was what held the bottom on now up at the top all you had here is let me get you in for a better shot so what you have to do here is on your exhaust which this doesn't have on it there's a flange and what they call a sir clip to hold it on your exhaust onto this then that fits into there let me get the proper one this all fits into there of course and you take your two bolts out or your two nuts off the bolts just pull this out it's the same procedure in the front the one thing you have to be mindful of though is you have exhaust port gaskets in here so you got to make sure you get those gaskets out so basically those two bolts down the bottom two nuts here two nuts on the front jug and take the flanges off in the sir clips so let's go and look at the new one and how that goes together so what it is is this flange and this sir clip here and the sir clip reminds me just like a ring on a piston you just take it and stretch it apart take it off and then pull your flange off put it all back together on the new ones so that's the setup on the new one so now I'll show you actually what I had to do to get this new one ready to go on the bike so what you get in this kit is you get these shields and you get these hose clamps and you get this bracket back here with four bolts I can show you that real quick just pull one side apart quick You'll be able to see this a little better maybe so and they give you you know a slide mounting uh, bolt part in here uh, come on now There you go, little bolt wishbone if you if you would to screw that into. So you put that together. Um, so you got your flanges on with the sir clips. You put your hose clamps down through the shield and put this on. They tell you to mark it and put it on. Af put these hose clamps through afterwards. You know, lay the pipe. Put the shield down, lay the pipe in, then try to snake your hose clamps in there. I guess you could do it. I cheat it I just stretched them a little bit I'm not telling you to do that that's the way I did it so then of course your exhaust port um, flanges the sir clip on there now with Mayan Mayan's old enough that it doesn't have O2 sensors you can use this on a few style bikes so I'm gonna plug the O2 sensor holes with these nice plugs that were extra you had to buy them extra and here are the new exhaust port gaskets 
and um, we'll, we'll install them. There's a flat back to them, which of course goes to the back of the jug so that your pipe fits in here. So we'll put them on. But uh, right now we're just going to put these O2, uh, we'll put these O2 sensor plugs in quick. And then we'll reassemble what we have here. We're leaving everything loose because we'll need that play to mount it when we go to the bike. So we'll put these in. Where's my other washer? Well, copper washer. Put the other one, we'll tighten these up. Put this back together first, quick. Biggest thing is try not to scratch stuff, but on my poor old bike, it'd be about the only thing that isn't scratched or about half worn out, so. And I'll show you this quick here. This is, they send you two bolts to bolt this bracket. They send you two bolts to bolt this bracket onto the frame down there where I took that exhaust mount off earlier. So that's where this goes. All right, so I think we're ready to mount it on the bike. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my uh, exhaust port gaskets in. Um, the heavier part towards the back there. We'll fit these in, then we'll start fitting the pipes up. Uh, you'll you'll get the whole idea here as I go, way to get them in. Um, I'm not going to try and get in there real close. So I got the gaskets in, so let's see if we can get these mounted and get everything tightened up on it. Tells you to do the, uh, let me look, one minute. So it says rear port first. Oh, and um, of course I saved the nuts and washers from the original exhaust to put it on. So let's see how we can do here. This ought to be lots of fun. I'm gonna put a nut back or a bolt back here. Try and hold this so that I don't have to be holding it up. See if that helps. All right, we got a front one started. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna have to do is tighten these nuts up on these and then back it off, put the washers and the nut on because it, it has to squish that gasket out in there. So let me work on that and then I'll be back. So I got the nuts on there without the washers and I'm gonna tighten everything up without it and get, it, get those gaskets pushed back. Then I'll put, take the nuts back off, put the washers on hold it all properly. So that's all I'm working on right now. 
And of course, you know, you want to tighten. Don't tighten one side all the way down. Go back and forth one side to the other. Try and draw them as even as you can. I'm going to do this with the front too. I'm going to do it with the front and the back. And I think that'll help us. And once I get them tightened in there too, I may also, I think I'm going to tighten up everything here, then run the nuts off, put the washers on. So I'm going to get the front fitted, do the same thing, run the nuts on, no washers, that's the easiest way it seems. Tighten everything up, because I only tightened, partially tightened up uh, on my mounting plate here. So when I go to tighten everything back up after I get the, uh, eh, I'll just be back. Alright, so I got the, just the nuts tightened up there in the head. So what I'm going to do now is tighten up the bracket onto the frame and then tighten the bracket up onto the pipes back here, back here in the back. So and I'll tighten these up. There's four of them if you remember from when we put it on. I got to tighten my brackets up, my uh, uh, heat shields up too. I think I'll do that right away. When you mount them, they tell you a certain way to mount them so that you can actually get to them once it's mounted. And I think I put them the right way. So I'm going to tighten them up. Um, I'll just do that quick. Got the bracket tight. Tighten up the uh, so our shields don't bang and clatter. We'll go and we'll tighten those hose clamps up now. So we got the hose clamps tightened up and it was a good idea. It made, it helped a lot to actually have them turn the way that they said. So sometimes it helps to follow the directions. So now the point that we're at is to take these nuts back off, toss the washers on and put the nuts back on. You don't have to see that, but that's what we're doing. And once we do that, I think we're ready for her first start with the new pipes. So here's a little disgruntled mechanic tip that I saw on I think the car wizard. The washer's going to fall off because of the place it's at off the nut. So if you can get them on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dab of Gorilla Glue or any kind of crazy glue onto the washer, onto the nut, let it dry, then put them both on together. That's going to make life a lot easier, believe me. Now there, if you see, it's glued on. A little dab will do you. Now that won't fall off. I'm going to lose the whole thing if I lose it, not just the washer and I have to go chasing everything. So just a little tip. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it was the car wizard. And uh, give that a try. See how it works for you. When it gets hot, yeah, it may make a little stink for a little bit, but I don't know. Never really did it on the exhaust, but this is going to make things easier. We'll do it and see if I swear or not. See how well it works. Oh my gosh. First shot. Oh. That's the way to do that. Okay, so we got everything tightened up, all our brackets, our hose clamps for the shields, and onto the heads. So here we go. See what she sounds like. Whoops. Need the key. I'll be right back. So let's go and start her.
So there you have it. That is installing the short shot staggered Vance Hines mufflers on a 1989 Harley Davidson FXST. Not really that bad. Hardest part was getting those nuts back on. But, you know, just nuts and washers onto the head. But you put the nuts on first so you can smash that uh, gasket back a little bit, take them back off. It was, wasn't too much of a problem. So this is Mike, the disgruntled mechanic, saying just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, you Dirty rotten bull, bull! How could you break off? You dirty rotten mother! Oh, dirty rotten! How dare you! Be, it, oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh man, alive! Son of a! Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic.